Okay, so we're going to have a quick look at roundabouts. We've been doing other things this morning. We haven't got much time, so we're just going to have a quick look at roundabouts. Um, I'm not going to go into um, big gyratories or one-way systems. I'm not even going to go into um, the approach to roundabouts, the various signs telling you which way to go and all the warnings. Um, we're just going to have a look at the, the roundabout itself. Yeah. So imagine we've got a very simple four-exit roundabout. Yeah. And there's one lane approaching the roundabout from each direction. Yeah. Now we're approaching the roundabout from here. It doesn't matter which way we're going to go, we always have to use the same approach procedure. And that is, as we're coming up to the roundabout, check our mirrors, left and right. Yeah? Signal if necessary. If we're going to turn left at the roundabout, we signal left. If we're going to turn right or do a U-turn, we have to signal right on approach. If we're going straight, we don't signal until we get to here where we've gone past uh, the exit before the one we want and then we use the left signal to leave the roundabout. Yeah? Okay. So mirrors and signal. Our position, well if there's only one lane, we probably need to be in the middle of that lane, but if there are two or three lanes, we need to put the appropriate lane. If the lanes are narrow, we may need to straddle. Our speed, now this is the thing, we always need to make sure that by the time we get to the giveaway line, if something surprises us at the last moment, if a car shoots out from the right hand side or there's a motorcycle coming around or a cycle that we didn't see, we've got to make sure that we can stop. It's very, very important that you don't make the decision to go until you actually get to the giveaway line and have a last look. Because if you look too early, if you're, if you're back here <coughs> and you look from here and you think, right, I'm going to go, and you press the gas too early, if something comes, wrong, comes along, you're going to be having to brake very heavily, yeah? or you're going to interfere with that vehicle's progress, you're going to force them to stop if you can't, if you can't stop. Yeah? So don't make the decision to go until you get to the giveaway line. Yeah? Once you've got to the giveaway line, if it is safe and there's nothing coming, have a last look around in your mirrors, yeah? and then press the gas and go. You must make sure, because of the length of the vehicle, that you can get the back of the bus clear before cars that are coming around get to where you are. Because if you pull out and you make somebody else slow down or stop, that's a serious fault. Yeah? It's not good, it's dangerous. Uh, it's a dangerous situation to be in to force somebody else to stop. So you need to make sure that you can get the back of the bus clear by the time a car comes around. Yeah? And also, given that we've got limited acceleration, um, that's a bit more difficult. The clue, or the key I should say, is to how you look at the roundabout. When you're here, this area here, the zone from 6 o'clock to 3 o'clock, yeah, is like the danger zone. Yeah. If there's a vehicle in that zone and you're not sure that they're going to take this exit, do not move. Because once they've come across the 3 o'clock position, if they're coming round, you're never going to get out before they get to where you are. You haven't got the acceleration. Yeah. So you need to see this area here is completely clear before you decide to go. There are exceptions. It's a, if it's a very, very big roundabout and the traffic's moving very slowly, you might be able to go if there's a vehicle here. Um, if, as I say, if it's a very big roundabout, yeah? But normally on smaller roundabouts or medium-sized roundabouts, you're never going to make it. So you need to make sure there's nothing here before you go. Equally, look deep into the side roads. Look all the way down here and see what's coming. If there's vehicles slowing down or indicating left, that might provide an opportunity for you to go. But if they're coming quickly, you're never going to make it, yeah? Because by the time you get to here, they're going to look to their right, they're going to accelerate, and they're going to catch up with you, and they're going to be on top of you fairly quickly, yeah? Um, the problem with roundabouts is people, um, they, they understand the, the principle of a roundabout, they, they understand the highway code, but they don't really use much etiquette. If you're pulling onto a roundabout, it's not just enough to look to the right, see it's clear and go. Yeah? Because if you have a large vehicle in front of you, or you have a, a, a slow moving vehicle, if you just put your foot down and go, you're then going to have to brake for that vehicle. If that vehicle's pulled out, maybe he hasn't seen you if you're coming quickly, yeah? whatever. 
Um, it's important to realise you look to the light, right, you look to the left, you also look into the exit where you're going yeah, to see what the traffic's doing. What tends to happen is once you accelerate into the roundabout, your speed builds up and up and up and up and up. And when it comes to the exit, you're travelling too quickly, there's a build-up of traffic, you have to brake heavily. If there's a zebra crossing, somebody might be waiting to cross, you have to brake heavily. Or, if it's a tight corner, you hit the kerb on the exit. So once you go into the roundabout, give it some gas to get the vehicle in, but once you're on the roundabout itself, reduce your speed and look into the exit where you're going and if necessary slow down for the exit. Yeah? It's very important to realise that if you hit the kerb, you probably hit the exit kerb. It'll be the kerb on the corner where you're exiting. Yeah? The exit kerb. Um, yeah. So remember, don't go if there's anything between the 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock position. Make sure you're looking deep into the other roads and make sure you're looking at the exit where you're going as well. If there's a road closure, there's a serious accident, you might be better off taking a different exit. That's why it's important to look where you're going. Um, and always remember, really the most important signal on a roundabout is a signal to tell people you're exiting. Yeah? If you're waiting here and there's vehicles coming around and they're all going here, but none of them can be bothered to use a left signal, you're going to be waiting there a long time because you're not sure where they're going. If everybody uses the left signal properly, roundabouts would flow a lot better because people would see the left signal, they would know that the vehicle's exiting, and they would have uh, an opportunity to move themselves. But at the same time, if you do see a vehicle coming around quickly and they've got the left signal on, if their position is more to the right, so they're hugging the roundabout, yeah, if their speed is quite high, don't trust their signal because they might have left their left signal on by mistake, they might have got confused and put the wrong signal on, and they might be coming around to the right. So it's important to understand when you're waiting, don't just look for the signal, look for their speed and their position. And if their speed and their position don't match what their signal is telling you, if there's, um, if there's a disconnect between what their signal is saying and what their speed and position are saying, don't trust them, wait.